Hello, welcome to quantitative aptitude video of career line. In this video, we would be dealing with the problems on profit and loss, which is one of the most frequently asked chapters in various management aptitude entrance examinations all across the nation. We will be covering five different kind of problems from this chapter, which can be seen in different examinations, may it be bank, may it be MBA entrance examinations or may it be examinations, aptitude examinations conducted by various government bodies. We will read the first question. 66% of an export package was sold at a profit of 5% and the remaining at a loss of 2%. If the total profit was rupees 800, the value of the whole export package was X. Find X. Now as we know that in the question itself, the value of the whole export package is assumed as x. We need to frame an equation which leads us to the answer. As we know that 66% can be replaced by 2 by 3. So what we would do is we would start writing the equation 2 by 3 into 5% profit of the total export value of x. That means 5% of x into 2 by 3 minus as this is the profit and now we will subtract the loss which is 2% so left portion is 33% that is 1 by 3 1 by 3 into 2% of x now this profit minus this loss is equal to overall profit that is 800 given in the question so 2x by 3 into 5 upon 100 minus x by 3 into 2 by 100 is equal to 800. We get 8x by 300 is equal to 800 and hence x is equal to 30,000. The value of the whole export package would be rupees 30,000. Second question. A car when sold at gain of 5% yields rupees 5,000 more than when sold at loss of 5%. What is the cost price? Now what we would do here is we'd assume the value of cost price to be x and then calculate the gain and loss in terms of x. For 5% gain we can calculate the total value as x which is the cost price plus the gain x into 5 by 100 that goes up to 105 x by 100 which is the selling price. Now 5% loss can be written as x minus x into 5 by 100 is equal to 95 x by 100. So, as said in the question, the selling price with 5% gain is 5000 more than selling price at loss of 5%. So, 105 x upon 100 minus 95 x upon 100 is equal to 5000. Again, we will go and solve this equation. We get the value of x is equal to 50,000 and the cost price of the car we get as rupees 50,000. Question 3. If 5% more is gained by selling a toy for rupees 700 than by selling it for rupees 680, what would be the cost of the article? Now, what we would do here is, as we know that the profit in case of 700 is 5 more than the profit in case of 680, we would assume the profit in case of 700 of article B Y plus 5 and hence the profit in the case of 680 be Y. Now let the original cost price of toy be X. So the selling price would be X plus X into Y by 100 is equal to 680 which is given. Now x plus x into y plus 5 by 100 is equal to 700. We get these two equations. So we will simplify these equations. 100x plus xy is equal to 68000. 105 plus xy is equal to 70,000. Solving these two equations, we get the value of x to be 400. The original cost of toy hence is rupees 400 and we get the answer. Fourth question. Aman bought bats at the rate of 16 for 68 and sold them at the rate of 24 for 114. How many bats should be sold to earn the net profit of Rs. 90? We will approach this question 
in sectors we'll first talk about 68 rupees worth 16 bats so to calculate the cost price of six of the bat we'll see that 16 bats cost rupees 68 so we calculate the cost of the one bat that goes up to 4.25 according to unitary method now to calculate the selling price of the bat in case of uh, 114 which is uh, the cost price of 24 bats that is 24 bats cost rupees 114 so we can calculate the selling price of one bat in this case which goes up to 4.75 now we will calculate the profit per bat selling price minus cost price selling price here is 4.75 minus 4.25 which is cost price comes up to 1.50 now 0.50 is the profit we are getting per bat and we need the profit of 90 so what we will do is here is to get the value of x that is 180 we will divide 90 upon 0.5 we get the value 180 so total 180 bats needed to be sold to earn the profit of rupees 90 fifth question by selling a typewriter for rupees 150 a man loses 1 16th of what it costs him the cost of the typewriter is x find x we can assume the cost price of the typewriter to be x and as given the question, we will frame the equation now. Cost price minus selling price is equal to profit. So cost price is given as x minus selling price is equal to 150. And the profit or loss is given that it he loses. A man loses 1 16th of what is cost him. So it costs him 8. So 1 16th of x, 1 by 16 of x. So simplify this equation x minus x by 16 is equal to 150 here we get the value of x to be 160 the cost of the typewriter hence is 160. So by now we we can clearly see the majority of profit and loss questions are based on unitary method. You just have to go and read the question carefully and then frame the equations for solving x and you'll get the answer. You would have to keep in mind the formulas as well selling price minus cost price is equal to profit cost price minus selling price is equal to loss so these are the two major formulas on basis of which many problems majority of problems in this sector are solved i hope this video solves your purpose and you would be confidently approaching the problems related to profit and loss whenever faced by them in any exams thank you